All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And man, oh man, is it exciting to be a Buffalo Bills fan. They had a 28-3 lead late in the third quarter. The defense choked up the lead, allowed the Rams to score 28 unanswered points to take a 32-28 lead. And with just 10 seconds left in the game, my boy, the comeback kid, throws it to Tyler Croft in the end zone for the touchdown. Buffalo Bills over the Los Angeles Rams. Bills are 3-0, and baby. 3-0. and And all the Josh Allen haters, I tell you, you can go straight to hell right now. Immediately. Do it now. Because five TDs in this game. Five. Four passing, one rushing. And he had a... a that interception should have an asterisk. Asterisk because Tyler Croft caught the ball, turned both hands on the ball. The Ram laid him out. He went flat on his back. The Rams guy stripped it from him, and the ref said that was an interception when Tyler Croft was clearly on the fucking ground. Interception, my ass. And that was uh, 28 to 3 at that point. That's what turned the game for the Rams. As soon as that interception hit, the Bills couldn't do a damn thing after that. But Josh Allen, late in the fourth quarter, another comeback for the comeback kid. Josh said, you all want to win this game? Get on my back because the defense just quit on us. We're going to have to win this game. I'm going to have to win this game. And my boy took the team on his back, took them down the field, and touched down Buffalo. 35-32. Bills win. Rams suck. Um... Hey, Jalen Ramsey, is he still trash? Huh? Huh? Is he still trash, Jalen Ramsey? He beat you twice! When you said that, he beat you when you was with the Shagwires. <laughs> and now he beat you when you're with the Clams. So, maybe you shouldn't run your fucking mouth, should you, you big mouth? <laughs> Is he trash, Jalen Ramsey? I can't hear you. I can't hear you, Jalen Ramsey. Is he still trash? Five touchdowns. Have a day, young man. And his third consecutive game of 300-plus yards. He had 311 yards in this game. Four passing touchdowns. One rushing touchdown. I'm going to say no interceptions because I was listening to it on a national radio station, you know, where they were, like, breaking in with all different scores and stuff because in my area they don't show the bills. Fox was showing the 49ers and Giants because I'm in near Albany, New York, and this is Giants and Jets company, country. So, uh, But they even said that that was not an interception, that Josh Allen has no interceptions in this game because Tyler Croft was clearly on the ground, on his back, ball to his chest when the Rams stripped it from him. No interception. But yet, they, the refs say it's a fucking interception, and the Rams went down and scored. But guess what, Rams? You can't beat the red, white, and blue, especially at Buffalo Bills Stadium. Because the Bills are for real. The Rams thought that they were coming back, Jared Goff. <laughs> well, guess what, Jared Goff? Right here. <laughs> Buffalo Bills 35. Los Angeles Rams, 32, 3-0, sitting in first place alone in the AFC East. And we go to Allegiant Stadium, the first time we will ever play a game in Las Vegas. Uh, and the Las Vegas Raiders, who lost to the New England Patriots. So they are no longer undefeated. So two undefeated teams down. And the Bills are a top five team. Because they were saying whoever wins this Bills-Rams game today will be a top five NFL team. And the Buffalo Bills are a top five NFL team. And this boy right here, Josh Allen, he's for real. Third consecutive week in a row where he threw 300 plus yards. Last week, he had four touchdown passes, no interceptions. This week, four touchdown passes. And I'm going to say no interception because it was a fake interception. And the Bills just keep on winning. I bet the Jets are, are 
are regretting not taking this boy at number three over Sam the Suck Darnold. <laughs> They're regretting it. They are regretting. We definitely got the right Josh. Sam Baker, or, um, what's his name? Uh, is it Sam Baker? No. Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield of the Cleveland Browns. Not a good quarterback. Sam the Suck Darnold. Not a good quarterback. Josh Sucky Rosen. Not a good quarterback. The Bills and the Ravens got the two best QBs in that draft class. Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen. And everybody kept saying, oh, but you gave up Mahomes. We wanted a quarterback who can play in this weather. Who's to say Patrick Mahomes could throw like that in the snow? Who's to say that Patrick Mahomes can win games in the snow? We didn't know that. We got the top shutout, shutdown corner in that trade. So I'm happy that we passed on Patrick Mahomes because we got Tredavious White with the pick that the Kansas City Chiefs traded us. So that was a that was a good trade because we got a shut down, a true shutdown corner. And in Vegas, <laughs> it's gonna be a good game. Uh, it's gonna be interesting uh, to see how we fare in Vegas. We've never been there, uh, but uh, man, they almost choked this one away. But uh, Josh Allen again took the team on his back and won us a game again in the fourth quarter. Another fourth quarter comeback for the Buffalo Bills. Guys, 311 yards. Four touchdown passes, one rushing touchdown for a total of a five-touchdown day for Josh Allen. Have a day, young man. And this kid, in his third year, is for real. And all the haters are hating it now, seeing Buffalo sitting alone in first place at 3-0 with Josh Allen. They called him EJ 2.0? No. This is Josh Allen 1.0. And he's coming, not only for the AFC East, but he's coming for that ring. And what you all going to do, haters, when he is a Super Bowl champion? <laughs> you can dance with the Rams. You can dance with anybody. You watch. This team now, I'm changing my prediction from 11-5 and five to 12-4. and four. I think we can beat the Seahawks. I think we can beat the Chiefs. And I definitely, for sure, think we can manhandle the San Francisco 49ers. Pittsburgh, that may be one of our losses. Although it is in Buffalo. We beat them in their house last year on Sunday Night Football. This year on Sunday Night Football, it's in our house. Hopefully we win it again. But I think they're going to want revenge. But... I think Josh Allen is going to put the team on his back to to win that game as well. Um, and I damn well sure know that we can beat the New England Cheatriots this time. Ladies and gentlemen, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video. Oh yeah, uh, Jared Goff also had for... Had over 322 yards. I think he had four. No, he had three touchdown passes and ran one in. So, have a day, Jared Goff. But it was a losing day for you. <laughs> Anyways, comment in the comment section below on what you think of this Buffalo Bills victory. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. So you don't miss a video. Go Bills. Off to Las Vegas.